students. Today, we will learn about different types of writing we need to be able to do and how to know what type of writing we should use in different situations. We will also review how to make a plan for our writing. In sixth grade, students are required to take and pass the reading, writing, math, and science state assessments. This test is close to the end of the school year. We are going to work on writing essays so that you feel prepared for this assessment, but more importantly, so you're ready for seventh grade and you can write about what you read in any class. The more you write, the better you become. And we want you to be a great writer. Don't be afraid that you won't be good at it. Everyone needs to work at writing in order to get better. There are a few different kinds of essays that sixth graders are expected to be able to write. One is the expository or informational. The other is argumentative. We're going to start with expository or informational. Sometimes this type of writing is also called explanatory. The purpose of the expository essay is to explain a topic in a logical and straightforward manner. Without bells and whistles, these types of essays present a fair and balanced analysis of a subject based on facts with no references to the writer's opinions or emotions. A typical expository writing prompt will use the words explain or inform or define, or something like that, such as in this example. Write an essay explaining how the computer has changed the lives of students in today's world. Notice there is no instruction to form an opinion or, or an argument on whether or not computers have changed students' lives. The prompt asks the writer to explain, plain and simple. However, that doesn't mean that writing to explain is easy. The argumentative essay is a genre of writing that requires the student to investigate a topic, read about and evaluate evidence that they find, and establish a position on the topic in a concise manner. A typical argumentative writing prompt will use words like opinion, what do you think, how do you feel, or take a position on. When you're writing an essay based on a prompt, the words in the prompt will tell you what type of writing you should do. The teacher often won't tell you, this is an expository essay, or this is an argumentative essay. You have to read the prompt and be able to decide what type of writing is required. Let's look at some example prompts and think about what type of writing would be required for each of these. Let's imagine that te your teacher gives you this writing prompt. Holidays are times when memories are made. Think of one holiday that you might celebrate with family and friends. Write to explain why this holiday is celebrated. What do you think? Is this an expository writing prompt or an argumentative writing prompt? We see that it says write to explain, which means that it's an expository writing prompt. Here's another example. Plastic bags can be harmful and hurt the environment. Write your opinion on whether there should be a law that you must recycle plastic bags. Write your opinion is our clue that this is an argumentative writing prompt. Here's another example. Some sports can be dangerous and lead to concussions. Argue your opinion on whether or not contact sports such as football should be banned for children under 13 years old. We see argue your opinion, which means it's an argumentative writing prompt. Let's do one more together. 
Ecosystems are communities of plants and animals. Think about what you can do to help ecosystems in our state. Write to inform your reader on the various things we can all do to help ecosystems. Our clue is write to inform. This lets us know that it's an informative or expository writing prompt. All right, we're gonna stop our video and we're gonna see what you know. It's time for a quiz.